Excuse me, sir. I showed up here and you're the one that started hating me. So you that's not. To me and asked me my opinion, and I gave Actually, I was trying to talk to her, and you stepped in front of me. What am I? What am I? You're really fucking tough, aren't you? <laughs> Dude, I'm literally standing here asking. I've never been in a fraternity. I asked one of you to have an educated conversation with me. Just one. Just one. Because you're too stupid. I'm cowardly? Like a job, a little job. Hold on, I'm cowardly for stepping into a crowd of people that hate me. Sandy Hook kids were child actors. Yeah. Right? The damage you've done to those families. What is disgrace? What damage? It's what disgraceful. The, saying that, do you believe that? Name the parents, name the families. Do you name What? Why would okay, there was a father that Megyn Kelly interviewed that said, that now listen, I'm going to come actors. with facts. I'm going to come with facts, okay? So now that you're giving, now that, look at this, now that I'm about to talk, they start yelling over me. You're such a victim. A father interviewed, this guy's not going to be quiet. superior race, you see are pretty weak. What are you talking about? What race is superior? I believe that if you are from InfoWars, you think that your race is superior. Oh, wow, that's totally inaccurate. Wow, that's racist, sir. What's going on YouTube? It's your main man, Boys for Life, coming at you with another video. Okay, okay, we're gonna get into this now because, <laughs> wow, just wow. Um, so, Dog and Pony Show, or whatever the fuck your name is, um, I thought you were white this whole time, judging by your skin color. You were an off-white, you know, just like Trump's a little orange. I thought you were like an off-brand white, you know, it came out a little shit stain colored. Um, that's what I thought you were. Um, but you said you're Hispanic. So a lot of my material went out the fucking window. Because if you were white, hell, you know what, fuck it, you're Hispanic. But the shit you said to me was the most racist shit I have ever heard in my entire life. And that's a Hispanic, that's Hispanic to Hispanic. You, you doggy me because I support Trump. And where the hell, where the fuck did I ever get political with you? I mean, let's let's face it. I would destroy you in a political bait, debate. You're, you're you're gonna sit there and say I can't I can't debate political. That's not even a fucking comprehensive sentence. Where the fuck did you go to school? Oh, that's right. You went to school in the Bay Area where a fucking guy with a goddamn dick who dresses like a, like a fucking woman can walk in to a goddamn woman's bathroom just because he feels like a woman. That's the kind of shit that you live in over in California. And to sit there and say California is better than my fucking great state of Texas, you can go fuck yourself, dude. You can go fuck, you want to know why Texas is, is superior, superior to any other state? It's because we were our, our own country. We were our own country, and if we wanted to leave the United States right now, we could be our own country and survive. You know what makes Americans, I mean, makes Texans proud? Just, just, just one, one reason why Texans are so proud because we can fly our fucking flag as high as the American flag. You can't do that with any other state flag. Why? Because we were our, our own goddamn country. Our own fucking country. And for you to sit there and say that I'm a poor excuse of a Hispanic because I love Trump or I support Trump. I don't love Trump. I support him and his policies. At least I'm not some dick sucker to another race. And I'm not trying to, I'm not coming across race. I'm not trying to be racist. And it's, and it's sad for me to have to put that in my video, but it's true what you're doing. You're sucking dick because you're, you know, again, I thought you were white. I thought you were completely white because of your skin color. Um, but it's amazing. It's amazing, dude. It's amazing for you to sit there and say that, us as Hispanics, we work hard. Bitch, you don't know what the fuck I do. You're a fucking security guard. You sit on your fucking ass and wave a goddamn flashlight. 
Well, what, what are you supposed to be? Top flight security of the world? Top flight security of the world, Craig. Shit, not just the city, the world. So now that we got your job out of the way of what you actually do, fucking security guards, stand there, shine a flashlight. Let's get into heritage, right? Let's get into what the fuck you called me. You called me a piss poor Hispanic American. Why? Because I, because I, because I, because I like Trump. I haven't voted for him yet, so I can cha certainly change my mind. But the policies and everything he's put in place, I don't see that happening. I don't see that happening. You know, you want to sit there and say, I can't debate political. That's like I said earlier. That's not even a comprehensive sentence. The proper sentence would have been, you can't even debate politics. That would have been the proper sentence. But nutsack for a face, seriously, dude. You want to call me a piss poor Hispanic? You don't know where the fuck I've been. You don't know what the fuck I've been through. You don't know what I've done to where I end up. You know, I'm just happy I had a mother and a father who loved me, who gave me the best that they could, which was... <laughs> Everything. Yeah, I ended up going to school with a bunch of white folk. I did. I did. Now, you know, now, you know, it's over and not over and but you know, it's Hispanic, you know, it's all everybody. But when I went there, when I went to that high school, it was predominantly white. <laughs> did it have an influence on what I, how I ended up? Maybe, maybe, but don't make fun of how I dress. Do not make fun of how I fucking dress because I love how I dress. Now you want to sit there and make fun of me and everything, but don't you dare. Don't you fucking dare make fun of Texas. Because bitch, Texas will, you come here and it will eat you alive and spit you back out to the faggot fucking country. Not country, but the state you fucking came from. Do not make fun of Texas, bro. Do not make fun of Texas. I'll let it slide once, but that is it. Dude, don't, 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 don't ever call me a piss poor Hispanic because you don't know what the fuck I've been through. You don't know where I've been, bro. You have no idea. You want to sit there and say that I know you? I don't even make fun of who you are or what you are. I make fun of what you fucking look like. You little fucking little piece of shit, fat bastard bitch, fucking um, top flight security guard. You're not even a real police. You got to call the police when you catch somebody. You gotta call the fucking police. And and how cold is it over there that you gotta be in a jacket and a beanie? Ain't no one worried about you, dog. Ain't no one give a fuck about you. Only reason I made any type of video about you is because I was tired of seeing you take up my shit, go into the subsection of my YouTube, and all I see is dog and pony show, dog and pony show, CG show, CBD show, GBDA show. LGBTQ show or whatever the hell you are <laughs> I was tired of seeing it all about a bomb dancing for him and ain't no one dance for you man ain't nobody dance for you you're just a little bitch you're just a little fucking fag that's all you are dude you think you can debate you think you can speak you think you can talk out of turn when you can't going at people that you shouldn't even be going at. Make a name for yourself. Talk about football. And then when you get recognized, come in and start yapping your fucking gums. Don't just start mouthing at mouthing off at people in your own fucking in your own in your own um click. And get the fuck out of here. I just woke up hungover. Happy Fourth of July, motherfuckers. Have a good day. Oh, and I got one more thing. Shut up, bitch!